Okay, 2017 Chevy Trax front brake pads and rotors. First thing you need to do is jack it up, support it properly, and remove the front tires, 19 millimeters on the lug nuts. Then you need to remove the caliper. It's held on there, held on by two bolts, one here and one here. And these are a 10 millimeter head bolt. Okay. And then you need to remove your caliper. Just like a soap. Put your little hook on there. Get it off of there. Right. Go ahead and hang it up there. Okay. It's hung up there. So now what you want to do is remove your caliper bracket. Caliper bracket is held on there by two bolts, one here. And one here. These are 18 millimeter head bolts. So you need to remove those. Those are in there pretty good. This is what one looks like. And then this is what the other one looks like. All right. So here's your bracket. There's your bolts. So now, oh, a little bit free. That one's free a little bit. Most of the time they're frozen in there and you can't move them. And that's the case because they get rust built up underneath there and they won't allow them to move freely. So you need to remove your abundant clips hardware. And then you need to clean this surface up that's inside there. Get it nice and shiny. Whatever this thing touches, you need to clean up. All right. Then you need to get your rotor off, so you need to remove the retainer from the factory. That's a T30. I use an impact driver, helps it out, breaks it loose pretty good. One's with your hammer, hit it with a hammer and snap some loose. If you use an impact, usually it just breaks your tip. All right. If the rotor's frozen on there, then you need to put a lug nut on it and smack it with a hammer to break it loose, okay? So. Alright, get the rotor off. Alright, now the hub, you need to get this hub nice and clean, just like this from the center. This is a stepped hub, higher, higher, lower. Alright, do not grind these down to match that. Just need to clean these up a little bit inside here, and then you can put a fine film anti seize in there to help keep it from rusting in the future. And now you can inspect your caliper, inspect the boot. Make sure it's not torn or any fluid leaking out of it. Now you can go ahead and put an old pad in there with a C-clamp, tighten it up and push that piston back in, or you can use the caliper tool. You know, sometimes these are too big to fit in there, but this one will work in there also. All right, so we're gonna get our parts cleaned up and get our pistons pushed in. The hub is all nice and clean. This drill pad flat sideways on it. Got the copper bracket all nice and cleaned up. This die grinder with sandpaper this time. Put on that sideways with it. Look it in there. Alright. Bracket, got it all painted. Remove my boots and my pins. Take my boots, rub it in some sill glide, push it back on there, and go ahead and rub my slides through some sill glide. Get it all over it. Do not pack this with sill glide, you will not be able to push them in and get them onto it. Allow the calipers to get on there. There. All right, so dead in there, Move it twisted as you go, so it gets onto the boot and gets onto the pin, and we're all good. And this, with the little isolator on it, goes on the top, passenger side, the top. Okay.
squeeze it and it gets full of air. You can release some of the pressure by sticking a little screwdriver underneath there and release some of the air pressure in there. Okay, now this is all set, ready to go. All they gotta do is now is put our hardware on it. Hardware's got these little clips on it. They go in the center. Need to push them down in there. I use my little wooden wire brush. Works pretty good. Okay, they're all pushed in there. All set to go. I right, got the pistons pushed back in. Got my rotor on, got my little retainer bolt in there. Got snugged up. Now I'm ready for my caliper bracket. Get my bolts in there, get that snugged up. Caliper bracket bolts are snugged up. Now you need to torque them to 118, 118 foot pounds, okay? Next, you can do is get your brake pads in there. Okay, brake pads. These act like little springs, okay? So, you put the pad in there like that. Get around it, push it in there at an angle. Nope, didn't get it. Sometimes they're a little feisty sometimes. And they'll pop out on you. All right, this is the front brake pads, squeak indicator. Indicator goes towards the rotation of the rotor. Rotor goes this way, squeaker on top. Same thing, push them down in there. Get it in there, you might need to get the light so you can see what you're doing. If it don't go, get yourself a light. I gotta get myself a light. So hold on. All right, the light helped me out. Next you need to do is go ahead and put your caliper on. Make sure that the line is not twisted. Make sure it's a straight shot. And go ahead, put it on over it. And now you can go ahead and push your slides in so you can get your bolts lined, your bolt lined up into your slide. Okay, got the caliper on there. Push the slide pins in as far as you can get them. Push the caliper over it. Get the bolt started. Do the same thing on the bottom one. Get them snugged up. Torque them to 21 foot pounds. All right, and make sure your line's not twisted and looks good. All right, so now you can go ahead and do the other side the exact same way. And then when you get done with that, then you go ahead and put your tires on. Torque your lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. Lower it down to the ground. Go inside the vehicle, start it, pump your pedal a couple of times till you got a nice firm pedal. Go ahead and shut it off. Go underneath the hood, double check your fluid level inside your reservoir, and that'll be it, and you're all set. Just make sure you pump your pedal before you go and put it, put it in drive or reverse because you won't have any brakes until you take up that gap inside here. So. Make sure you pump up the pedal before you put in drive or reverse. And hopefully I helped you out this video. And hopefully you can help me out by subscribing to me. I appreciate it. Thank you.